Hi, I'm Lolita, Data Platform Analyst working in the Product Management team of the Dot Stat Suite project. This video is for business owners who want to generate charts in the Dot Stat Suite Data Explorer. In this video, you will learn how to select a chart type, how to customize your chart, and finally, how to export and share your chart. Let's start with how to select a chart type. After selecting your data flow in the Data Explorer, I have selected emissions of air pollutants for the purpose of this video. You will click on the chart button on the left side of the menu bar. You will see the available chart types relevant to your data selection. Let's select bar charts. You will see a perennial chart with the current data selection which can be modified by using the filters on the left side. Let's say I want to compare all OECD countries by their total emissions of sulfur oxides per capita for the currently latest available year. I check the selection in the year filter to make sure the last available year is selected as start year and as end year, which is 2017 for this demo example. Then, in the Polyton filter, I select Sulfur Oxides. In the variable, I choose Total Emission Intensities Grouping and I select Total Emissions per capita. Here we go. Now that you have your chart type and data selection fine, let's see how to customize your chart. On the right side of the menu bar, you will see the Customize button. On click, it opens a panel showing the chart elements you can customize. The customizable elements depend on the chart type you have selected, in our case, bar chart. Under the Emphasis section, you will change the colors of certain elements to make them visually standing out. Using highlights, you can select multiple elements from the drop-down list that will be colored in sequence. Therefore, you can change the order of selection to color your elements differently. I'll simply select the last ones. Using Baseline, you can select one single reference element to be colored in a separate color, which is black by default. I'll select OECD Total. Under Chart Size, you can change the chart height and width in pixel with the corresponding selectors. Let's change its height to 500 pixels. On the vertical axis, you will adjust the minimum, maximum, pivot and step. I'll keep them as is for my chart. Last but not least, for authenticated users only, the information section will be displayed. It allows the user to edit the title, subtitle and source label, remove the logo or remove the copyright logo. I'll change the title to Emissions of Sulfur Oxides in OECD Countries in 2017. And I'll change the subtitle to Kilograms per capita. Now that you have fully customized your chart layout, it's ready to be used. Let's see how to export and share your charts. On the right side of the menu bar, you will click on the download button. You will see as a first option, chart as picture PNG. It will export your current chart as is with all customized elements. On click, it will trigger the download and you will see your chart as a PNG file. But instead of downloading your chart, you might want to embed it in your web page or share it on social media. Let's see how to do that. You will click on the share button. It will open a panel where you will enter your email address. After clicking on Request URL and Embed Code, 
you will receive the necessary instructions in your mailbox to access the generated URL for your chart and associated embed code. For more information about the share option, check out our video how to use the share feature. Now, you're ready to make the most out of the chart feature. Thank you for watching this video. For more content, check out our .stat Academy.